All right, guys, we're gonna, out, gonna be out here doing a test today. So I'm gonna go flying behind trees over there. I got that tree and maybe I'll explore the tree line over there, but there's a big pond, so maybe not. But uh, all right, so here's the antennas I got on my Scout HDs. Axie twos, right hand polarized. Couldn't find the same pagodas, but I'm gonna throw these on next. We're gonna see if there's any difference in uh, penetration for uh, these antennas. And then on this side, we have a TBS Triumph Pro stubby antenna and a brand new race VTX with a brand new pigtail. Very short pigtail, fits perfect for this. So there's no kinking, no bending, no nothing. Um, and then the HD Zero cam. Uh, unsmudge that lens a little bit, but yeah, there's the setup. So we'll see how good the penetration is. Everything's updated the latest and greatest firmware. So let's give it a rip. Let's see how this goes. I'm facing the, the foliage right now, so this should be best possible scenario. I'm straight for it. Still pretty terrible. I mean, I'm farther away and I got a fence in between us now. So that's not ideal. Let's go to the right of us. Yeah, still not, still not great. I mean, my, my reception bars aren't, look like my Omnis are doing well. Obviously the patches are not. Let's get in front of the patches here. So the patches are the two outer ones. The first one does not move at all, depending on how close I get, I'm right in front of me. So I've, I'm almost, oh, it moved a little. Every antenna's pretty good. And then we go out. Let's just fly high. Pretty good, just clear line of sight. Okay, I'll go fly behind me. See how it does back here. Really good. Not bad at all. Alright, well let's switch the antennas on the RX or on the yeah, the receiver module. See if it's any better. Hopefully I can take off in this grass. Still got plenty of battery. Looking pretty good. Alright, we're going straight back through there. See how bad it gets. Yep, pretty, pretty bad. Just as bad. So I would say equal for the Omni antennas. There's a lot of foliage though, you guys. I mean, that's a lot of trees to be cutting through. Like, this, all this I'm cutting through. So it's not like it's not, you know, it's doing pretty well considering. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be great. Not much change though from uh, the antennas. So... Let's try something else now. Let's try changing the quad antenna. Now that we're about, we know that's about the same. Let's try the quad antenna. Well, let's see what happens here. We're still in the R5 channel as well. So I gotta keep that in mind. Should we just go for the trees again? Not feeling confident. I'm already getting break up. At least I know the line. <laughs> yeah, it's still terrible. I mean, I don't know if you can even get something that flies through that cleanly. You know what I mean? Out in front of us, we're pretty clean, though. This is off to the right of me. There's a guy running around the track, so I don't want to get too close to him. I don't know. Perfectly clean in the middle of the field, you guys. No issues. 
And this is where we're seeing a lot of footage too, is out in the middle of uh, racing. It does seem a little better though, like less prone. This is a taller antenna, this isn't stubby. So certain orientations, the antenna will be always up versus a stubby could be blocked. So this is probably best case scenario antenna. It's actually the best I've seen it. Okay. All right, I want to try one more thing. We're going to switch channels. R2. See how she does. Notice my bar. It's 200 milliwatts. I notice my bars are... Yeah, I don't know. I would say my one of my patches is like either unplugged or just totally not even working. Which isn't a real problem. I'm only relying on Omnis. Nice and clear out here. I'll hang behind one tree. A little bit of glitching. Go by, go by these trees here. Not bad at all. We'll go through the small gap this time instead of all the way through. It's manageable. I don't know guys, still not great. I'm not seeing the, the penetration everyone else thinks they're seeing. I'd say it's it's pretty average. This would be comparable to an analog setup. Great out in the open. Clear line of sight. It's fantastic. Yeah, I don't know guys. It's pretty much the same with every antenna I've thrown on there. You shouldn't need a special set of antennas to run this. Out in the open for racing? Fine. You want to go bando exploring? I don't think I'd do it. Oh, well, there it is, guys. There you have it. Shark bite. Race VTX. Perf like brand new everything. Pigtail, antennas are brand new. Um, VTX is brand new. Latest and greatest firmware. Best camera you can get. I'd say this is pretty much the what you can expect from a you know, from a high-end shark bite setup, this is the best stuff they have right now, you know. I know people are probably going to say these aren't the best antennas, but, I mean, I tried, I've tried pagodas on here, really nice stubby antennas. They all seem to perform the same, regardless. I mean, it could be the area I'm at, hard to say. You know, I mean, we're going through some pretty thick foliage, so it is what it is. And it's not like I needed to do that, right? I mean, it, it looks fine in the field. It's great in the field. Um, you can go around some objects and not have too many issues at all. I mean, you can go around, I was going around trees just fine, but I'm going through like practically woods over there and it's expected that it's going to drop out. So yeah, there's my experience. Let me go, let me know what you guys think.